announcement day. Um, I wanted to explain a few things to you real quick. Uh, first off, I got some announcements. So, beginning on Thursday, uh, this Thursday, I will send out an invitation to your emails for a live session. Uh, that will be in Google Hangouts Meet. Uh, this time will be used to answer questions and give instructions. I'm basically checking in with you. Uh, I will begin doing uh, live teaching as well. So please um, make sure that you attend uh, and you see that I do expect students to attend live sessions when able. I do expect you to attend at least one and if you do, you go and get a 100 uh, for simply attending and being present. So the days are Monday and Thursday. That'll be a morning session at 11 to 11.30 a.m. And then there's an afternoon session from 1.30 to 2 p.m. Um, please make sure that you attend one of these sessions uh, on those days. You don't have to attend both, but you need to attend one. Um, and make sure that you parents uh, see this comment here. Uh, if video conferencing is something that you would prefer, uh, I'll try and do that. So let's talk about work for today. Um, so today is Tuesday, March 31st. Uh, so you are still working on government, Australia's government. You're gonna do some Cornell notes. Um, you guys know how to do that. And you're gonna do your big 20. So look, make sure you look there. And uh, you gotta complete the opener for today using the opener document. So that is unit eight item number five big 20 and the opener. So let's make sure that we know where all that's at. Um, using second periods again, but everybody should be relatively the same. So you will click here, 331 2020, unit eight, item number five, Australian government. Once you open that up, you should see this. And this is what you're taking notes on. Um, don't worry about any of these assignments past here. You are just taking notes. Uh, I may do something with these later, but for right now, don't worry about it. Um, so let me just talk about this real quick. Uh, you can see the standard here. Uh, I'll let you, if you want to pause it, you can look at it. Um, scroll down. So if you remember autocracy, democracy, you should know an autocracy is one person possesses unlimited power and citizens have a very limited role in the government. Uh, that means you should know citizens do not necessarily vote uh, per se. So democracy, most of the power is in the people uh, and it's exercised whether directly or indirectly through a system of representation involving free election. So democracy, people can vote, autocracy, if people vote, they usually can only vote for one um, for one person. Let's go ahead and do that. All right, so uh, parliamentary and presidential. Remember, uh, the chief executive in a parliamentary democracy uh, is elected by the parliament. So citizens can elect the parliament, and then parliament elects the prime minister. Presidential citizens elect uh, both uh, the legislature and their chief executive. So um, we'll talk about that later. So Australia's government, it's a lot like Canada's. It has a constitutional monarchy and a parliamentary democracy. Um, this is the Parliament House in Canberra. Uh, it's home to Australia's government. It's kind of cool. So let's move on. This is how the continent of Australia, our country of Australia, is split up. Um, you see these territories are relatively large. Uh, not like the United States. There's few people that actually live in this middle area. Uh, because of there's it's just mostly desert and wildlife. Uh, most people live around the coast, and you guys probably know that that is a common theme in social studies. 
So constitutional monarchy, um, the monarch inherits the right to rule, but they're limited by laws and lawmaking body elected by the people. So they, they're king or queen, but they're limited in their power. So uh, they actually list the power. So the king or queen is the head of state, but um, since the monarch doesn't live in Australia, she, he or she chooses a governor general to act in her place. So the king, the queen of England actually has someone that acts in her place while uh, in Australia. So, yeah, here we go. The leadership head of state is the monarch of the UK. Uh, presently, Queen Elizabeth II. Yes, she is still alive. Yes, she is in her <laughs> mid to late 90s. Uh, the governor general stands in for the monarch, so they're kind of a middleman. And then you have the prime minister that holds the most, that's important, the most political power. So the most political power here um, works closely with the legislature. So there's your, don't know what this is doing. There we go. There's Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth. Uh, Sir Peter Cosgrove is the governor general. And the Prime Minister is Tony Abbott. So Governor General is appointed by the Monarch by the advice of the Prime Minister. Prime Minister is the leader of the majority party in the House of Representatives, indirectly elected by the people. Uh, Australia's legislature is called Parliament. The citizens of Australia vote for members of Parliament. Very important. So members of Parliament belong to many different political parties. Uh, these are pictures inside of the House of Representatives, and you have the Senate. Um, not as large as what you would see in our House of Representatives or our Senate. Uh, that's because Australia is ha doesn't have nearly as many territories and states as the United States does. So, parliamentary democracy. The major difference is that... Uh, Whichever political party has the most members in the legislature is the one that gets the prime minister. So, for example, um, right now, Democrats hold most of the pa most of the legislature uh, in the House of Representatives. So that would mean if we had a parliamentary system, the prime minister would be a Democrat because that's where that's who has the most members in the legislature. Um, so this is the major difference between presidential and parliamentary democracies. Um, the parliament chooses the chief executive, which is the prime minister. That's very important. So citizens vote for members of parliament. Members choose the prime minister. So citizens vote for parliament. Then parliament goes out and they elect or choose the prime minister. So uh, voting is required by law if you're 18 to 70. Um, citizens must participate. They elect members of parliament. That's important. They have three branches of government. We know these. We've talked about these. So executive branch, this, this is where the prime minister is. The legislative branch, this is parliament. Parliament is bicameral. It means it has two houses. So the House of Representatives and the Senate. And then judicial branch, made up of all the courts in Australia. So the Constitution... Uh, gives the power to each of these you see here legislative executive and judicial executive is the prime minister the legislative branch is the parliament which is bicameral you have the senate and a house of representatives and then you have a judicial branch which is the supreme court and that is it don't worry about all this i may do something with it later but don't worry about it um once again Make sure that you do try to attend one of these live sessions. Uh, back on, if you look at the agenda, I'll be sending those out soon. Um, make sure that you do the quizzes from yesterday. Uh, I'm putting in grades from that now, and I'm putting in grades for unit eight, item number four. Some of you haven't completed that yet either. So make sure you do that. All right, you guys have a good day.